Hi, Mamas. everyone so in this video I want to talk about some things of again relating to a bunch of the kind of philosophical you know faith and philosophy type stuff that I talk about you know again relating to the power of the mind and belief and decision the power of belief the power of decision the power of faith Faith is a combination of belief and decision, and we have the power through faith from God. We are all connected by the very same life breath that has been breathed into us by God. We are all living, breathing, conscious beings, and we are all connected. We are all connected and individual at the same time. And... Anything and everything is possible. What I say is that, what I say is if everything is subjective, then anything is possible. And it's true. And like there, 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 there are even kind of, so subjectivity and objectivity can also like be very much intertwined. There can be like aspects of both throughout reality and even objective things can be subjective and can have subjective aspects to them. So what I want to talk about in this video that's going to be um, more than just this, um, what I want to talk about is healing my sleep problems and pain, some pain that I've had. Come on, Okay, so I have kind of filmed a video talking about some of these things before, and um, I didn't post it. It's like a mental health related video and also how my beliefs and decisions, like the things that I believe and that I've decided to believe have helped me with my mental health and also health kind of in general in in certain ways and okay so with sleep how okay and that healing my sleep problems doesn't mean that you know I've I never have a night anymore where maybe I don't sleep as much or where I just you, you know like it's it doesn't mean that I always have a complete exact, the same exact routine all the time for my sleep. But, okay, so, I think, so before that, I'm going to talk about the pain aspect. So, there have been times where I have experienced a lot of pain. I don't want to go too much into what it was, but regularly, not constantly, it would be kind of sporadic, sometimes or I mean it would regularly occur and sometimes it would be really bad but um, maybe it, it would just kind of fluctuate the severity and then you know sometimes it would kind of get better and then come back and and then sometimes there were times where it was just like constantly just there. So I ended up going to the emergency room last year because the pain was so bad. It had just been that way for an extended period of time. And, you know, there have been some times where it felt like 
pain relievers weren't helping, and um, so I ended up going to the emergency room, and the thing is that they didn't really find anything there, which at that point I was kind of like thinking a little bit like, okay, so is there maybe like an, not word for word, but you know, I was kind of considering, you know, if it was related to beliefs, like to what I was believing, because I really, I thought that there was something there, because I'd gone to the emergency room before, and there was something, uh, a certain thing, so, and I had experienced that more than once, um, and so it was like, it, it was something that was occurring maybe not all the time, every time, but it would happen. Sometimes <laughs> it would be really bad. And then, so there was something in one area, but there wasn't something in the other area where a lot of the pain, where it felt like a lot of the pain was coming from. And I mean, not that I, I didn't really feel pain so much in the other area, maybe sometimes some like pinching pain and they had to give me some medication and I also got some, uh, I got a prescription for that. And then I had a, a CAT scan done, a CAT scan or also called a CT scan, I believe. And again, they didn't find anything in that area. And also at the time, you know, I was, of course, I was even more considering, okay, if it, if, if, if it was related to beliefs or just the, the possibility of it kind of being related to beliefs. And, and I was also kind of reading about how, you know, maybe we're kind of told or taught certain things that certain things are painful or they're going to be painful or kind of like certain things about pain. And so I kind of started, you know, considering that and it's funny. Oh, oh, and also subliminal messages. Um, subliminals, there, were, there have been some points where I would just like leave it on on a loop and there was a point where I was in a lot of pain and I left it on for a while and I fell asleep and like it helped. Subliminals do work and I mean it's really the belief. Okay so a lot of times we're given a lot of limiting beliefs like something can only work if you do it this way or if you know you do ABC or XYZ etc. It doesn't have to be that way. You decide what to believe. You decide you know that it can work for you, that it can work in A, B, C, or X, Y, Z ways. You know, you're the one that can decide all of that. Okay, so you don't have to just think, oh, well, you know, it's not going to work if I do this or that. They said it's not going to work this way. It can only work that way. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to really believe in that. You're the one that can decide that it'll work for you. So, but that's kind of usually how I do it. I usually will like kind of leave the subliminals on a loop. Basically what they are is they're affirmations or even affirmations. Affirmations is like too, it's a statement, it's too firm. Affirmations is a question or affirmations are statements. Affirmations are questions. Affirmations are too firm. Affirmations are to form, etc. But I mean, it, they can both equally work as well. Like we're the ones that can decide that. So, okay. So around that time, when I was I was considering that stuff. <laughs> it's it's. I don't want to say it's funny, but yeah, I mean it's kind of funny because <laughs> what ended up happening was. I, there wasn't really any pain. 
that time around when I was like considering that stuff and and <laughs> it's, it is funny because it was like around that time and that that time again there was no pain or well almost no pain there was some pain I remember some pain like a little bit toward the end And that doesn't mean that, you know, there's never been any pain again after that. You know, sometimes, you know, things can kind of fluctuate. Just kind of try to stay in that empowered place. I know sometimes, sometimes we can kind of go back and forth between feeling really empowered and then we can go back to feeling really disempowered. And what I want to say to that is that doesn't have to affect your power or the possibilities, okay? Your feelings are a compass. They're an indicator. Just because you are feeling disempowered doesn't have to mean that you are disempowered. Just because you feel like sad or frustrated or or really attached to something, you don't have to feel so detached to something for it to come true for you. I know a lot of people out there tell all these, you know, limiting they they give out a lot of limiting information you have to do this you it's not gonna work blah 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 you don't have to completely detach and and you don't have to feel so amazing for everything to happen for you and i think that there's something so freeing when you realize hey i can decide like I decide what to believe. And even if you don't believe 100%, you can still decide that it'll work out the way that you want it to. And... <laughs> okay, so sleep. S um, with sleep problems, because I kind of dealt with sleep problems for a long time. And that doesn't mean that I never slept well or anything. It just means, you know, I kind of had some sleep problems. And why I'm doing this is because I decided not to let that be my story anymore, basically. I wasn't going to get so stuck, you know, in that idea like, oh, I have sleep problems. I have sleep problems. I've had sleep problems for however amount of time, you know, since this time, since, you know, this whole time, it's an idea. That's what that is. It's an idea. Sleep problems are an idea. And that idea, it contributes to that anxiety. And so when I started kind of considering those things and I decided not to let that be my story anymore of having sleep problems. Things got better. That doesn't mean, you know, that I never have times where I sleep different amounts or where, you know, I don't, it's like, I don't, I'm not awake during X, Y, Z. Like, what I mean is, like, it doesn't mean that, you know, Everything is one specific way forever, but that the anxiety around it is, it's, it's relieving. It's really relieving. When you stop, when you stop assigning that meaning to it, it's such a relief. And I feel like I sleep pretty well. Like, there are still times, you know, I wake up, I'm tired, and, you know, I would like to sleep more, but at the same time, it's like, you know, and, and I could either, you know, go about the day, or, you know, sleep more, whatever, right? But the anxiety, there's, there's relief there. That doesn't mean that I'll, maybe never <laughs> I mean what I'm trying to say is that 
that doesn't mean that there won't be variables in the future, but you don't have to worry about that because you're the one that can decide. You're the, like, it's so important <laughs> to know this for yourself. And also another thing that I want to talk about was like addictions, habits, when you're trying to break habits or, you know, that meaning when you're giving something that meaning like this is an addiction this is an addic addiction this is an addiction I'm addicted to this blah 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 I can't stop doing that I keep doing this you know I'm trying to break this habit I need to go x amount of days I need to do this or that actually I um I was so I was writing down some things and this is what I want to say and also labeling things as mistakes you, you don't have to give it that meaning. You know, those things are just ideas. Okay, so this is what I wrote today. I absolutely can have my desires. It doesn't matter how many mistakes I make. That's just an observation. Is it really a mistake? See it as a part of the process, as a part of the journey. Try not to fixate on time frames um, so much. It doesn't have to be about, I need to go X amount of time. Sometimes it can feel like a cycle of trying to do something or stop doing something, like breaking habits, for example. And if you do that habit again, you give it a negative interpretation. Or even just the idea that you're giving it that meaning that it's a habit. Because that's that. those are subjective too. I'm not saying that there aren't people out there with addictions. I'm just saying, you know, if if you don't want something to be like an addiction or you don't want to see it that way, then you don't have to see it that way. You can decide to change that meaning. Um, okay, so... Like breaking habits, for example, and if you do that habit again, you give it a negative interpretation sometimes. Try to change your perspective. It can feel hard or complicated, but it's important to try to make peace with the moment. Don't make it about, I need to go X amount of days or, or I need to do X, Y, Z or ABC or whatever. Breathe. Anything and everything is possible. Remember, you decide. <laughs> I decide. Sometimes we might feel so empowered and then disempowered again. And we kind of go back and forth. That doesn't take away your power or the possibilities. You don't need to give up and you don't need to see it as a far away or difficult goal. You decide and you believe that you have it. That you have it already. You can even visualize it and say to yourself, out loud or in your mind, this is a reality, I already have that, I already am that. You decide what to believe. Okay, so when you're trying to do certain things and you're seeing it from this one perspective and maybe it feels like that's not working for you, try maybe try to change your perspective, the way that you're looking at it. I need to do this. I need to do that. Try to see it as I'm free and, you know, I have my desires. I have that. I have... I am that, like I am that person that has that. I am that. Okay, I decide. I believe I am in control. God is in control. Okay, and I am powerful. Really just stop and say that, you know, this is reality. Because we have our external reality. That doesn't mean that it's not real. You know, we have our external reality. We have our internal reality. We all live in one reality and then we all have our individual realities. That doesn't mean that the internal reality is not real. So, you know, just stop and realize and decide this is reality. This is, that, is, that can be so powerful. That is powerful. Dis the power of decision is so powerful because once you know that, you realize, I don't have to believe 100%. I don't have to feel amazing. I don't have to do this and that. I don't have to do all this stuff. I just, I decide. 
Okay, because even the Bible doesn't say you can do anything or like through Christ as or as long as you feel super happy or all things are possible as long as you have high vibrations. Okay, it's not about vibrations or anything like that. You decide. You decide what to believe. Because anything and everything is possible. We decide. So that's just what I wanted to talk about. So really it's it's amazing. It's it can be so amazing. And I just how powerful is that that you know we have all these people telling us this or that and there's a lot of limiting information out there but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be that way the power is within us through faith from god we decide I feel like there's so much more that I could say. And I have some other videos too. And of course, I wanna say it's also really important. Um, soft love is really important because it does, it really helps and it helps you to feel better. Again, it's not a, you don't have to feel absolutely amazing, but feeling better helps you. It helps you because, I mean, we want to feel better, right? That's why we want this or that sometimes right because we want to feel certain ways we want this we want that and i mean you don't have to feel that way first before you have whatever it is you want but self-love self-care take care of yourself really take care of yourself and there are some times where letting go of things and practicing forgiveness etc are really important parts of self-care and they can really really they are really important parts of self-care and they can really be helpful i'm not saying that you have to absolutely detach to have your desires because you know it's it's not really true that you know you have to let go of your desires before you can have them that's not it <laughs> so remember you decide Thank you all so much for watching. I still feel like there's more that I just could say or want to say, but you know. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice slash bless slash good day. And may God bless you.